Hello there friends and followers and welcome to this Explain 11 video. We are currently situated at Papa Sierra 01 and we are going to be conducting a review of the performance control unit that was recently released for Explain 11. Now this plugin is supposed to bring performance improvements by tweaking some of the parameters in the Explain environment to boost your FPS. What we're going to be doing in this video, we're going to be taking a look at all the available options and the tweaks, and we're going to assess whether this plugin is really worth the investment of $15 or not. So without further ado, let's get started. In order to subject this plugin to the best test possible, I have made changes to my Xplane 11 settings. And those are the settings we are going to be using to subject the plugin to our test. Everything here is on maximum. Uh, the number of rolled objects, I left it where it is, and I've set the reflection details to the maximum as well. We have the draw shadow on scenery uh, turned on, and I am using Vulcan uh, with the latest x 11 beta. All right, so this is right now, the unit is not working at the moment, uh, and we're gonna bring up the um, FPS counter here. And as you can see, I have about 31 FPS. This is quite an involved scene, I must say, with all the shadow being drawn and with all the reflections here. Uh, it's a nice scene, uh, I, I must say, uh, without anything, without any tweaks. Uh, this is how the water looks like uh, right now without the performance control unit enabled. And as you can see, the uh, reflection of the shadows is uh, absolutely phenomenal here in this. Uh, I mean, don't worry about the jagged lines, uh, but essentially it looks pretty good. You can see the shadow of the trees here casted on the ground. It makes for a very convincing and lovely scene. So if I hop into the... Um, to the cockpit. Uh, now this is where we see uh, some serious degradation in performance. As you can see here, I'm getting 18 FPS. That's very, very low. Still, uh, you know, I can still pan around and it's still reasonable, but um, again, this is not flyable uh, as far as uh, X-Plane is concerned. Uh, you will get a lot of stuttering and so performance isn't really that good in the cockpit view. All right, so let us now bring up the performance control unit. And this is the main window of the control panel. That is it, really. Uh, you've got, you can uh, control the, the 3D water, the ambient occlusion, I guess. Uh, and then you've got the engine heat blare control, lights and sun improvement, reflection control, scenery object visibility, shadow control. Now, the first thing I want to say about this plugin is that it's not compatible with any type of Lua script. So, and this is something the developer mentions here, important note, this plugin cannot, can, can be not compatible. This plugin can be not, that's I guess a grammar mistake, but this plugin can, cannot be compatible with any software, plugin or script that can affect on explain environment. If you load your simulator and see some kind of flickering or abnormal behavior of the simulator, you should first remove all additional Lua scripts and plugins from the explain plugins folder. To me, that is the first big no-no. I mean, why would I want to give up all my, uh, you know, scripts and, and plugins in order to gain a few FPS, okay? Uh, even if the gain was was sufficient, uh, I, I wouldn't want to give up my, for example, XP Realistic with the nice, you know, sky colors and the nice clouds and, you know, the, the light effects. Uh, I wouldn't want to give up that for, you know, for a few um, FPS uh, gain. But let's go ahead and see what this actually does. So the first thing I want to go to is I want to go to the to the scene here. All right, now you can see the water looks pretty good and we're getting pretty decent FPS, 42, and I'm gonna enable the unit, okay? So now 
I'm getting about FPS, uh, 40 FPS, but look at the water. It looks absolutely terrible, okay? Now, I can get the same effect if I disable the unit, okay? I can actually go to X-Plane and I can completely turn off the reflections and I get the same effect. So essentially, the unit hasn't really done anything in this respect uh, other than just really take the, uh, the turn off the shadows. So it's what this setting does is equivalent to what the reflection detail does, which isn't very good in my view. Okay, so it hasn't really helped me there. There is no added value in this first item. Uh, if we turn on the unit and head over to the, um, to the cockpit, now things did change. Let me just turn it off. Now you can see here how the shadows look very nice and we can see the shadow of the trees being casted on the ground and I'm getting about um, 18 FPS. So I'm gonna turn on the unit and now I lose all these shadows, okay? And I'm getting 19 FPS. So not really, and by the way, the visual appearance has suffered quite a bit. So in terms of the trade-off between visual quality and performance, again, I would say that this has not really done anything for me, okay? Um, so he, again, as you can see, there is no performance gain. Now, there's uh, some, some things here that says smart 3D water, smart AO. The only thing that the smart thing does is that it will allow the visual effect to be visible only from external view and not from the internal view with the exception of one of them, which I believe is the shadow control here. So no, without scenery shadows or something like that. So we can turn it off. So essentially, all of the stuff here, you can actually do very, very easily from, you know, from the um, explain uh, settings menu. So I, I don't really understand what this does with the exception of the heat blur and maybe uh, light and sun improvement, I don't really see any use of any of these functions. Also, what's very important to note is that all the functionality available in, in this, uh, see, as you can see now, we can see from the external view, we can see the shadows being casted, and but I'm also getting 22 FPS. So in terms of FPS, absolutely no benefit. Okay, now all of these elements and far more with far granular details is available free of charge through the Fly Aggie Tweak Utility, which is a Lua script that has a gazillion of features that you can use to tweak the draw distance, the shadows, the shadows on the scenery. Uh, you can do a lot of things I will provide you with a link to Fly Aggie in the description section of the video. So, um, all in all, uh, this um, tweak utility performance control unit, in my humble opinion, is not worth $15, and it should be actually an experimental beta, um, and it should be free at this point. That's my own personal view, and I do apologize for the developer who's uh, developed this, uh, this uh, utility um, um, because I know that he's probably spent time developing this utility, but even without Fly Aggie, even without Performance Control Unit, with just a little bit knowledge of how x works and through going some of the setting files, you can actually make all the tweaks that are available in this application. So there is absolutely no point in spending $15 on this application. And this is what I really wanted to share with you guys in this video because I have been receiving a lot of requests to do a review of the performance control unit. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. This is my honest opinion of the performance control unit uh, that was recently released for Explain 11.
My final remarks on the Performance Control Unit for X-Plane 11 is that this plugin is absolutely not worth the price uh, that is advertised of $15. And most of the features that this plugin offers are actually available through um, either the X-Plane settings menu or through other tweak utilities uh, such as Fly Aggie, uh, which is a, a Lua script again um, that you can use. In terms of compatibility, it is not compatible with just about everything as the developer states. And without having performance control unit or any other tweak utility, all the features that are advertised in this performance control unit plugin with very little knowledge uh, of explain settings and the different files that host these settings, you can, sh you can actually achieve what this application achieves. Uh, through just uh, tweaking the explain files. I hope that this was an insightful, useful, and a fair review of Performance Control Unit. If you have any questions, as usual, please do post them in the comment section below. Until next time, please take care of yourselves and each other, and I will see you all very soon. Thanks for watching, and bye-bye for now.